Hey, Scrappy Peeps! Susanna here today for the Scrap Room, and I am sharing with you a sketch-inspired layout. This is the sketch. I actually created the sketch, and I used that sketch as the foundation for this layout created using the Echo Park It's Your Birthday from the February Flavors of the Month kit, as well as the pattern paper and embellishment add-ons. So I was inspired by the sketch, but I did not want to use hearts because I'm using this birthday collection and so I went with stars and you'll see that in a little bit. I am going to use the border strips to create pretty much actually the whole layout is what it transpires to be. Um, so I have the header to there and then um, sort of the footer on the layout per se is going to be that diagonal stripe there. And then I'm going to use this other piece of pattern paper, the B side, um, and that is going to be the bulk of the body. Now in a second, actually in the next couple of minutes, you will see that I compose the layout with that pink background, but I really, really, really struggle with this because I am not a bright in your face kind of <laughs> color gal. Um, and so you can see I'm looking for something else down there. I have that black wording that says hooray, hooray, hooray in the header. And I feel like I need some black elsewhere in the layout to balance that out. So I am going to cut a strip um, but it's not going to work for me and you'll see that because I do I struggle a lot with this layout but what I want in place of some of the hearts in the sketch is I want to use some glitter every birthday lit layout to me needs a little bit of glam um, some sparkle and so I'm going to add that sparkle using this um, Gina K glitz glitter gel and this is the turquoise sea color and I am using a stencil from Echo Park only this is not the stencil that comes with this particular collection this is from last year's collection the let's party collection from when I actually designed for Echo Park and so I'm going to use that stencil with the glitter gel to add some confetti uh, to the layout and that glamour that I was looking for. I am going to um, just do the top and the bottom because I know I just have those little gaps in the header and the body of the layout that I want to show through. You can see how I used a dry small palette knife there. That's actually from Vicky um, to scrape up the excess gel. Uh, I'm using a big spreader from Thermoweb um, to spread that. It works perfectly. I do find though that um, I do tend to go over the edges of my stencils a lot, so I use that technique to pick up the glitter gel and or the modeling paste um, a fair amount. I am now going to use these two pieces of pattern paper from within the collection um, to create the stars. I'm just using little bead metal dies here and I'm running through in three different sizes. I definitely want that black because I, I like how the black punctuates the page, but the problem with this black and the added confetti is that I, I do have a hard time creating some balance between the light colors, that pastel like the um, aqua there, and the darkness. So I need to find find uh, some balance in this layout. So that's been set aside and dried while I was cutting. And now I'm going to go ahead and secure down the elements that I know I'm going to use. So just like the sketch calls for, I have that wide strip as the header and then the smaller strip as the footer. Now in the sketch, you actually have in the body of the layout, the strips that are to the top. I actually changed that up and I put the strips sort of more to the bottom and I did that because of the pattern papers that I have and I wanted some balance in the layout uh, and I was better able to do that. You will also find that I am going to shift the title to the bottom of the layout as well and again just for balance because of the colors that I have chosen to use. And that's the beauty of sketches is you have that flexibility. So you can see I have that pink laid down there. Um, uh, just as the sketch calls for two photos, I have also used two photos. One of them is a, um, I want to say that that's Snapchat, the Snapchat filter. Um, obviously, this is me on my birthday. And then the other photo I converted to black and white because I have the Christmas tree behind me. My birthday is close to Christmas. Um, and I didn't want the contrasting colors to pick up from the photo. So by converting it to 
black and white, I was able to use that photo along with the one that where the colors coordinated. So you see I have this black strip here. The attempt in the black strip was to create some balance to tie that top black into the bottom of the layout there. But there's something I just, I struggle with the placement of embellishments here um, and creating balance throughout the layout. I know I want these cascading stars to add to that sort of falling confetti, but that pink and the black just have so much contrast that I find I don't know where to look when I'm looking at the layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out all of the stars um, and I feel like I need to use more of the embellishments. Uh, if you follow my work, you will know that I don't, I am a bit of an embellishment minimalist. Um, I use embellishments for a purpose and I don't like a lot of verbiage on my layouts either. Uh, I find that Echo Park embellishments tend to have a lot of verbiage um, and that I struggle with that. I have struggled with that long and hard. Um, and so I tend to use a lot of the embellishments sort of in a, in a minimal way and just tuck them for edges and borders and layers. Uh, but again, I because of the cascading stars, it's hard to use a lot of these embellishments. And there's something about that pink and that black that I just, I can't, I can't wrap my hand, head around making all of this work. It's busy for me and I don't do busy very well. So I'm going to rifle and I'm going to show you that sometimes the layout that you create doesn't always end up being what you stick down on the page. So I've got a lot of pieces. I've got a lot of elements. I flipped over those black stars and I've used the B side of those. Um, they were actually the B side, I should say. I've used the pattern side, but it just it's not sitting well with me. And so I keep shuffling. Um, the Susanna title shuffle has become the Susanna embellishment shuffle and I'm trying to pull everything together. I like that thin strip better but there's still not enough balance between the light elements and the dark elements in this page for me. So I find this the back of the border strips and it tones down that pink which allows that black and white photo to stand out and then I don't feel like I need that black strip anymore. I'm going to use the black frame from the uh, embellishment pack the, that you get with your kit and that pulls the blacks together and creates balance between the top of the page and the bottom of the page. And then this black foam title, this is for my stash, is going to seal the deal and create enough balance and movement from the top of the page down to the bottom of the page. I actually really preferred the title directly above that black um, in journaling spot, so to the right in the center in line with everything. However, you couldn't read the happy birthday that was on the that bottom photo there. So I kind of did have to shift it over to the left. So finally, after a lot of shuffling, a lot of indecisiveness, that is ultimately how the layup ends up. You can see I used those um, turquoise stickers with the numbers 47. It was my 47th birthday, and I'm actually going to move them. You can't see them where they are, and you can see them much better where I relocate them to. I have some, uh, these are gel pens, souffle, gel. Hold on, let me take a look. I think... These are uh, gel pens that I'm using to just do a hand stitched outline, a drawn stitched outline around each of those turquoise stars. Again, it just gives the stars a little bit of a pop. And um, then I will move the 47 to that big aqua star on the bottom right of the photo and call that a day. And I do hand write my journaling in. And those of you know who know me know that I will not do that on camera, but you will see it in the close-ups. So here come the close-ups. Enjoy the close-ups. I thank you for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.